welcome back to the hair I wear for wigs by pattiespearls.com. I'm Lauren. I have another synthetic Ella Villa wig to show you guys today. This one is from the Hair Society collection and it is Fortune. Now before we get dive into that one, let me tell you what I am wearing right now. This is my John Renault Human Hair Top Style in 18 inches. The color is 6RN. Okay, let's dive into Fortune. Now before I show her to you, I just want to show you the packaging that this wig came in. This is probably the most impressive box I have received from a wig manufacturer. Normally they're a lot thinner. Um, they have the standard kind of pull off top, but this one, check this out. It has like this magnetic closure and it opens like this. It is just very, very chic. I'm very impressed with the packaging on this. So well done, Ellen Villa. Very cool box. Okay, let me get to Fortune. This is a long layered wig. And the fibers I was noticing on this one feel amazing. And as I'm putting my hand into the cap, I'm noticing how incredibly lightweight it feels in there. Wow, okay, so there is no wefting in this one. As you can see, it has a hand-tied mono top right here. Sorry, I take that back, it's not a mono top. This is a mono part, so this is for a left side parting but this cap is super lightweight. It has a velvety nape with adjustable tabs to adjust the snugness down there, and then it has adjustable ear tabs. Okay, let's talk about this beautiful blonde. This is called Sandy Blonde Rooted. It is a color 24 with 16 and 22 highlights. So this is a rooted piece, which I love. This is a medium honey blonde with ash and lightish light reddish brown highlights going through it. So let's see if we can find some of those reddish brown, like right there, you can kind of see just that little bit of highlight in it to give it some dimension and then that phenomenal root. Love a rooted color. Okay, the overall length on this one is about 12 inches. Uh, from the crown down is 11 and a half. The front is eight and three quarters. So it has a shorter layer in the front. And then from the nape down, is 13 inches. So definitely a longer look. This is very lightweight at five ounces. Okay, I'm gonna go get her on so we can see what she looks like. Be screenshot ready because here are all the details on Fortune by Ellen Villa. Wow, what a contrast from the piece I was wearing at the beginning of the video. But here she is. This is Fortune by Ellen Villa, part of their Hair Society collection. Um, I think she is really pretty. I love this color blonde. It's the cooler blonde with some warm pieces running through it. You see those cooler pieces? Uh, again, this is called Sandy Blonde Rooted. It has some light reddish brown pieces running through there with a darker root, which I think is great for a blonde piece. Now, let's go ahead and talk about this mono part here. Um, you can't really see much of that mono part. It's kind of narrow, so what I would do, and only if you plan to keep this way, um, would be to go through and pluck some hairs out of that part line to widen it, then you can dab some concealer in there and it gives the illusion of a part line and a scalp right there. So that's probably a customization I would make for this wig. Um, now it does have these shorter layers here in the front that I had behind my ear, but let's go ahead and take a look at the front lace line. Now remember when you're adjusting your lace front wigs, never pull on the lace itself. Always grab the hair close to the root to make your adjustment. Now, because it is a lighter color, the knots are gonna be disguised. So I think they did, sorry, my phone went weird. I think they did a great job on the lace front here. I think those knots are pretty well disguised and you wouldn't even really see them unless you chose uh, to wear the piece up like this or had it clipped back and pulled away from your face. Otherwise, you're probably just gonna have it covered with these shorter layers right here. Now these layers feel a little wispy. This wig isn't super dense or super thick, so the layers um, feel a little bit lighter. There is some movement in here. Um, I feel like you could go in and kind of make them messy or you could just train them just to kind of fall, there we go, smoothly 
down here. Now remember with longer synthetic pieces, they're going to tangle. So carry your wide tooth, comb, wide tooth comb with you and pick out any of those tangles that you get during the day, especially at the nape of your neck. That's where long synthetic wigs tend to tangle the most. Okay, so for this, we already saw we could get an ear tuck pretty easily with that and get it all behind the ear. You could do a twist like this. And because it has that lace front, you could show some of it. Now the lace front goes ear to ear, so it's a pretty long lace front down there. So you could do a pin back like that. Definitely long enough to do a ponytail like that. You could swoop it all to one side. I love that look. Put a few bobby pins back there at the nape. You could even do like a little twist back there. This would be a beautiful holiday look to kind of sweep it all to one side like that. It would be really pretty. Okay, let's do a 360 so y'all can check her out from all angles. Lower down. Okay, so this is the front, or sorry, the side. The back. and then again with the front all right and let's just talk about how amazing this cap feels this is a hand tied cap so it doesn't have the wefting in the back and it just feels so lightweight and stretchy um, you know normally wefting doesn't bother me but I think you don't realize what it feels like until you get a full hand tied cap on and feel the difference but it feels so good I love love how lightweight this is it's a very comfortable piece all right I think that is about it if you need a fortune in your life head on over to wigs by pattyspearls.com search Ellen Villa Last name is spelled W-I-L-L-E. The style is Fortune. The color is Sandy Blonde Rooted. All right, y'all. I will see you next time. Bye.